Titan TV. I'm Monica Hayes. Today is Friday, April 8th, and I'm Jordan Goddard, and now for today's announcements. Rising seniors and juniors, Mrs. McCannon will hold an interest meeting for students interested in OJT for the upcoming school year on Thursday, April 21st during lunch in 1A100. The email was sent to your student email and parents' email on Thursday, April 7th with more information. If you did not receive it, please check your spam box. If it's not there, you may need to delete old emails so you can receive new ones. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. McCann or stop by 1A100 during lunch. We are sold out of grad bash tickets. If a student wants to get on the wait list, please send them to the activities office. Make sure you have ordered your cap and gown. Herf Jones will be here mid-April to distribute. To order, please visit herforlando.com. Jacob Reedy with sports. Thank you, Annika and Jordan. This is Titan Sports, and I'm your host, Jacob Reedy. The baseball team beat FPC 8-1 on Tuesday in their five-star tournament. Unfortunately, the boys and their nine-game win streak fell to Spruce Creek last night after losing in a close 2-1 match. The softball team will travel to Lake Mary in hopes of keeping their win streak alive. Both teams are listed in the top 70 in the state of Florida. The girls' flag football team took their first dub in a monumental fashion, beating FPC 18-0 last night. Good job, girls. The Titans track team took six for boys and third for girls in the Deltona Dash and on senior night. The track team travels to Seminole High today to take on their last invitational before districts. Good luck to the boys' weightlifting team on Saturday as they compete in tournament play and begin the road to siege the state title. That is all the sports for today. Thank you for tuning in. Back to you, Annika and Jordan. Juniors and seniors, prom tickets are on sale. You can purchase on UHSTitans.com or see Mrs. Dean in the activities office for more information. And now over to Don with Titan Weather. Well, yesterday was certainly a very active day across Central Florida. We had widespread severe storms. Take a look at this viewer photo coming out of Fern Park. Beautiful community just to the southeast of Altamont Springs. Unfortunately, taking a hit uh, what appears to be either extensive straight line wind damage or uh, a possible tornado. So that's something that the National Weather Service is going to be investigating as we head later on into the afternoon. On top of that, a lot of communities yesterday receiving some very beneficial but very heavy rainfall in a short amount of time. We had plenty of flooding uh, storm reports across portions of southwestern central Florida. Thankfully, we're all clearing out. It is beautiful this morning. Plenty of sunshine right now. Titan Sky Cam over Flagler Beach. There's not a cloud in the sky. It is a little on the chilly side, though, behind that cold front that swung on by overnight. There you see it clearing the skies out. Just a few high clouds left over. And you notice the arrows, that's just the, 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 the breeze working in behind it. So a little bit chilly today. You add in the breeze, you certainly might want the light jacket. 63 in Orlando, 62 in Kissimmee. Low 60s and upper 50s up the I-75 corridor. Dew points, drier air pouring in behind that front. So it feels so much more pleasant than it has the past week with the excessively high dew points and the warm temperature. 76 today, get outside. It is a phenomenal day. Not too many of these days left as we start to approach summer here very shortly. Here's Futurecast. Just a few high clouds as we head towards about 2 and 3 o'clock. I think we're all going to be running nice and dry. 74 in Pearson, 74 in DeBerry, 74 in DeLand. Low to mid 70s along the coast as well. Plenty of sunshine. Westerly winds about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Overnight, chilly. Get the light jacket if you can. Upper uh, mid 50s, mid to upper 50s we're thinking. Tomorrow, mid 70s. Windy. The wind is going to pick up quite a bit. Hold on to your hat tomorrow, sun and passing clouds. And then as we head towards the weekend, we're going to clear all of this out. It is just beautiful sunshine pouring in, comfortable air, drier air. This is going to be one of the best weekends I've forecasted in quite a while. So Sunday, 77. Monday, as we start off the work at school week, we'll be back into the low 80s, gradually building back those temperatures as we approach 90 by mid to late next week. Jordan and Annika. That's all the news you have for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's, it's all about, about the UHS.